Good evening, and welcome to a service of worship at Grand Avenue United Methodist Church. Each evening during Holy Week, we are going to be meditating on one of the seven last words of Christ. We'll share the scripture and the devotion and meditative music. We pray that it will be a blessing to you. As we prepare our hearts and minds, I invite you to join me in the prayer that is on the screen. Merciful God, as we remember how your son Jesus bore our sins in his body on the cross, how seven times he spoke seven words of love, we ask you to bless our hearing. Father, as we recall how all three hours his silence cried for mercy in the souls of all, we ask you to help us to understand the mystery of your love and make us into a people who are ever more worthy of it. Amen. The third word comes from John 19, 25 through 27. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her to his own home. Who can grasp the grief? The grief of Mary watching her son suffer. The grief of Mary watching him die. And who can grasp the grief of the son, the son who must see his mother mourn? What gift can a man give his mother? What can he offer when he is gone? How can he help her, hold her, comfort her, honor her? Woman, here is your son. Here is the one I love to love you and for you to love. One who knows me. One who is my brother and who can speak of me. One who can hold you, comfort you, and honor you. One who shares your grief. Here is your mother. Here is the one I love, for you to love and to love you. The one who taught me, the one who fed me, the one who wiped away my tears, the one who hugged me, the one who grieves with you. Women, behold your children. Children, behold your mothers. <laughs> 